Hey folks, um, so I wanted to redo the video I did a while back on HIV AIDS. Uh, some of you may remember me, some may not. Um, I, I, the video was titled My Problem with HIV and it was basically just kind of piggybacking on, I guess now I've kind of become someone who doesn't really accept um, the whole story of HIV causing AIDS and um, I just um, I have some questions needless to say um, I I did a video I think it was World AIDS Day and for the most part I got great feedback um, a lot of people felt the way I did and you know when I first heard of these ideas I the, the first two people that I heard it from you know, I thought they were really crazy. I mean, I, I really crazy in that sense. I mean, they were very intelligent otherwise, but just the whole sense of what, you don't believe in HIV, you don't believe in HIV causing AIDS or you're mad. I didn't say it to their face, but I thought it. Um, I've now become, a, <laughs> I think I'm, I'm such a denialist now more than anyone else. Um, and I've gotten like just a lot of hate mail and um, I mean like I said the most part it's been pretty positive but a lot of hate mail and that just kind of makes me think even more why so much hate for me just saying that I have questions so um, basically I'll just start over um, HIV has never been proven to cause AIDS and this isn't just something I'm looking at and reading about. This is something that even people who support um, HIV causing AIDS or who work in that field even admit to saying that, well, it's the probable cause of AIDS. It's just, there, there's no definitive, yes, this is it. And, and there's no, and even uh, with people who are in kind of, you know, coherence with, with it, they even doubt it um, based on what they say and I've just you know I've had a I've had quite a bit of experience um, working in the field in HIV uh, whether it's hospitals clinic case management centers um, so I'm not just someone watching Maury okay I, I want to get that straight and most of my discomfort with HIV causing AIDS is um, what I've seen in my own professional life and Personal as well. I've lost someone, um, uh, supposedly to to HIV, and I've and I've watched them go battle with the doctors and just see the lies that were told to them outright to their face. Um, that I myself at the time was too scared to. I didn't want to upset, you know. So I just I just let it slide. But I've I've seen it both personally and professionally. Um, I'm just looking at my note okay yeah one one of the biggest things is that um, and I've seen this on the packet for the HIV packet the test kit which you you know swiggle around in your mouth it, it states in black and white very clear this test does not test for HIV it doesn't even test for antibodies to HIV it tests for antibodies so if you if you have the flu, your test could come up positive. Even the conform, I know people are going to say, well, the conformatory test, even that test, there's, um, there's a, a waiver. This test has not been proven. Additional testing is needed. Even the last, last, last test, additional testing is needed. And it's like, then why, how is that the last test? How is that the conformatory test if additional testing is needed? Um, I, I also wanted to know why is HIV still pretty much a gay disease and a black and Latino disease? Is it that gay men and black and Latinos are the only ones having unprotected sex? You know, are there any, are there, why is it predominantly affecting them? Is it that they're just so ignorant and we need to educate them? And you know, there's no white people out there for the most part having unprotected sex too. You know, all those 
I, I hear of these crazy swing parties in Midtown and you know why is it specifically a, a disease that is limited towards the poor um, and and I was thinking that you know imagine that HIV testing was mandatory imagine that it it was mandatory and for everybody and all of these middle-class white people became infected or were told that they were infected I feel like it would force an investigation because people would just be like no this can't you know it, it would it would force a new pair of eyes to look at HIV causing AIDS um, because there's no way that you know it's just black and Latino and gay men engaging in risky behavior and nobody else for the most part you know um, I, I, I also wanted to say that I know for a fact that there is no real attempt um, hold on one second let me charge my computer okay sorry I know there is no real intent to um thought I did oops one second <laughs> There you go. So sorry about that. I know there is no real intent to cure AIDS because, and this goes back to my professional experience. I've been, I've worked at places where, you know, I've, I've heard doctors, nurses, social workers, um, jokingly saying, well, if there is a cure to HIV, get my half here. He's just too cute. Go back in your room. <laughs> That's my nephew. Anyway, what was I saying? If there's a cure to HIV, then I'd be out of a job. You'd be out of a job. And it's almost like a chuckle. Like, oh, how funny. You actually think there should be a cure? I've, I've, I've sat in and watched pharmaceuticals treat staff to great meals, um, concerts and really just really promote all oh, this medication this medication even though the medication itself clearly states and anybody can look this up anyone could go to the CDC website and look up the side effects of these medications causing AIDS like symptoms and this is not you know oh you're talking about AZT in 1989 no I'm talking about what are we in April 2012 so, I know it seems crazy, but I just think anyone, and, and you don't have to be a genius to, to really look this stuff up. I'm far from a genius. I'm a total moron in, in many ways. Um, but just anyone from the public can go on these websites and, and look up these things and see that there's a lot of um, contrary information regarding HIV causing AIDS, regarding does the medication itself cause AIDS? Because that's what their own packages are saying. You know, the, the, their packages are saying this on their labels. Um, at the same time, I'm not a, I'm, I, I don't want anyone to say that. I'm not saying don't or don't, don't or, or do take medication if you've been told you're HIV positive. I'm just saying investigate it um, because it, it just doesn't make as much sense as it's supposed to make um, yeah I, I have a lot of problems with HIV causing AIDS um, the, everything is not adding up um, I mentioned in the last video um, a, a few documentaries um, false positive house of numbers there's so much information on it and forget about documentaries you can just go in any library and look up HIV AIDS and just you know if you care about it spend some time reading about it um, and just look at a lot of things that just aren't adding up and I strongly advise people that if you are quote-unquote HIV positive to really look at and read thoroughly the labels that you're taking the, the labels to the medication you're taking you know 
it's it's not that great um, information. It's not that hopeful. What you're going to be seeing is can be quite scary. Um, what do you want? Okay, I gotta go. Thanks for watching.